Hey everybody, this is Cindy with Monarch Mom DIY. I am here today with my December recipe box, my December essential oil recipe box from Simply Earth. So I'm very excited to bring this to you today. First of all, if you're new to my channel, I hope you'll go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I mostly do home decor DIY videos using easy to find items from Dollar Tree, Walmart, Hobby Lobby, other craft stores and thrift stores. But today I am bringing you my second Simply Earth Essential Oil recipe box unboxing and I'm also going to make two or three of the recipes for you today just to show you how easy it is to make your home toxin free and as healthy as possible without using man-made chemicals. So this is how the recipe box works. You subscribe, they put together a monthly recipe box. Um, they send us pure oils at honest prices. The recipe boxes start at $39 and this includes free shipping in the US. You can pause or cancel your subscription at any time. And the great thing about going ahead and subscribing is you are guaranteed the monthly box. Sometimes these monthly boxes are um, being sold out in the middle of the month, um, but there is an alternative to combat that and I will let you know. So this is the December box. Each box has kind of a monthly theme and let me show you what you get in each monthly recipe box. Okay, you will always receive four full-size, 100% pure essential oils. This month, of course, for December, we are receiving peppermint. Peppermint is a great essential oil for many things like stomach ache, um, headaches, and uh, it's a great staple to have on hand. Um, this one is mandarin like mandarin orange. This has a lot of great um, energy giving properties. It's a great one if you diffuse it, it really does give you energy. Next is pine scotch. And a blend, a seasonal blend, usually you get at least one of them as a blend, is candy cane. So let's see what's in here. Spearmint, frankincense, I don't know if you can read that, orange and lemon. Okay, so those are the four oils that come in the December recipe box. Also, they give you other little goodies to make some of the recipes. I'm excited about this. This is a uh, spray bottle. So you blend uh, some oils and I'm using witch hazel today in here to make a room spray. Another of the recipes is to make your own lip balm. And they give you some tags and jute twine for uh, gift giving, making tags. And then also this container, which I believe the recipe for this is a sugar scrub. So that's awesome. You get all those things. This month they did give us a sample of a natural deodorant by a sister company called Wild Root. Okay, and I've recently started using natural deodorants that do not have aluminum in them. Um, it's just aluminum has been shown to cause cancer. So um, I've started using a natural deodorant. This is lavender scented. It is amazing. And it says it's also made with lavender and yang lang essential oils. So there's some information in this month's box about wild root. Um, they use Simply Earth essential oils to make these natural products. So that's awesome. So that also comes in the December box. Now you might be wondering, well, what about the other things I need to make these recipes? So if you didn't see my November video, I'll refer back. When you receive your first monthly box, you receive the bonus box and mine's a little disheveled because I've taken some things out but um, in that you receive a big coconut oil this is what you would use to make the uh, lip balms okay you also receive an almond oil liquid and a coconut oil liquid these are called carrier oils and they are what helps the essential oil um, soak easier into your skin you also receive some empty bottles for making your diffuser blends some roller bottles um, we're gonna make one of these today 
and um, all sorts of fun stuff. So let's just show you a couple of the December recipes and then we'll talk a little bit more about um, getting a subscription to these amazing boxes. All right, so these are the three, well, let me just show you all six of the recipes that came today. A peppermint and pine salve. Okay, so this would be something that you would put on your, um, it says your chest for a natural decongestant. That's awesome. So instead of using um, Vicks VapoRub, which does have some, have some questionable uh, ingredients in it, you would make this out of co solid coconut oil, beeswax, which came in our uh, bonus box, the pine scotch essential oil, the peppermint essential oil. Oh, and that's what they want you to put in this tin. Okay, awesome. I am going to make that, but this one you do have to melt the, uh, the, the oils in a double boiler, which I don't currently have, nor do I want to do that on camera. So, candy cane lip balm. Awesome. So this is for your two lip balm tubes, beeswax, solid coconut oil, sweet almond oil, and your candy cane essential oil. So basically they're going to show you how to make your own with natural ingredients and oils. Mandarin and coffee sugar scrub. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, again, this is one you would use ground coffee beans, um, which I don't think came in here. So that is something that you would have to add. Occasionally there are things that they can't include in the box. So um, those are things that are usually pretty easy to find or that you probably already have on hand and that you can include in these. Um, sugar coffee beans, and then the mandarin essential oil, and then the coconut oil solid and liquid that they gave you. So you could use a very similar container to this, or I think it's really cute to give in the smallest um, glass canning jars. Those are super cute. Tie a little ribbon around it, and you got a great little gift. All right, so those are the three I'm not going to make on camera but I am looking forward to making. These are the three I'm going to make today. I'm gonna to put together a candy cane diffuser blend. It looks like we're just blending our candy cane oil and mandarin, and that you would use in a diffuser. Cold Buster Roll-On, I'm super excited about this. Um, like I said in my last video, I love carrying roll-ons in my uh, purse that you can just put, um, this one says, at your pulse points for congestion relief, focus, and energy. So we're gonna put that together today. And a Citrus Christmas Room Spray. How fun is that? So a natural alternative to something like Lysol or what other brands, the uh, Glade, um, that you might want to scent your room with. This is using essential oils, and I'm going to use witch hazel, which is a natural, um, a natural toner. All right, distilled. It's distilled witch hazel. I got this at Walmart, a big bottle of it. So, let's get on with making a few of these. All right, let's just start with the diffuser blend. Oh, and if I didn't show you. Each box also comes with these labels. They are stickers, but they're not already cut, so you kind of cut around them. These here go on the tops of your bottles, so if they're in a box, an organizer box, you can see what they are. These are labels for your two lip balms you're gonna make, sugar scrub, pine salve. This will be the room spray. This is our candy cane diffuser blend we're going to make and the Cold Buster Roll-On. So these are really nice. They look very professional, great for uh, gift giving. You can always make your own with address labels if, if you want. Okay, candy cane diffuser blend. We're gonna use our candy cane oil, mandarin oil, and a five milliliter blend bottle, which came in our bonus box. Okay. And this is in here. Oh, I got to one second, I gotta get this kind of separated if I can. All right, I'll have to work, there we go, there it is. So that's the piece that you'll put in after we put everything else in. Okay, it says two drops of our candy cane essential oil, which smells amazing. Like I already said, this has spearmint, frankincense, orange, and lemon. So let's see if I could just do on camera, two drops, one, two. So you can see these oils also last a nice long time. 
And we need two drops of our mandarin. Here it is. Oh, it smells so good. It says, just has a sweet orange aroma. Its origin is Italy. It's part of the fruit peel. And the ingredients are just orange or citrus. So two drops of this. One, two. And then we're just going to fill the rest with our, oh, that's if you're gonna diffuse it right then. Okay, if you're making, I did this last time. If you're making a whole bottle's worth, you actually need 50 drops of each. So I've done two. Let me just pause this and do 50 drops of candy cane, 50 drops of mandarin, and then we're gonna fill the rest of the bottle with our coconut oil. Okay, so for a diffuser blend, you are not adding this. Sorry, that's for the roll-on. So this one, uh, five milliliter bottle will hold 100 drops. So we did 50 drops of candy cane, 50 drops of mandarin, and then we're just gonna put our stopper in so that when we're ready to diffuse this yummy blend, Christmas candy uh, diffuser blend, we will just put, uh, I'd say anywhere from five to 10 drops in water in your diffuser. Take this off. So that will be all ready to go. I will put the label on that off camera and then show you. All right, our Citrus Christmas Room Spray. This one we need Mandarin again and Pine Scotch. We're going to use this bottle. It's an amber, um, bottle it is plastic but the shelf life is three months so so this is good we're gonna use 25 let me show you 25 drops of mandarin and 15 drops of pine scotch so mandarin Okay, and then 15 drops of pine scotch. Let's smell this one. Oh, it definitely smells like pine, but not like fake pine. Awesome. One, two, three, four, five, six, All right, 15 drops of pine scotch. Make sure I get my lids right. This is pine, okay. All right, so the next thing it says is two tablespoons of vodka or witch hazel and two tablespoons of distilled water. Well, I don't have uh, distilled water or vodka, but I do have witch hazel. So what I'm going to do here is just fill the rest of my bottle. This is a four ounce bottle. If you didn't wanna use four ounces of witch hazel, you could use two and two but this just helps the essential oils mix together and is something natural that won't harm carpet or anything like that when you spray it on. I would spray this into the air, not directly on fabrics because I'm not exactly sure. That smells really good. I smell the orange and I smell the pine, but it's not like over powerful, do you know what I mean? Like fake. Uh, man-made scent. All right, so let's move on to our third one, the one I'm most excited about because I definitely use this in the winter here in Michigan, a Cold Buster Roll-On. So this is one drop of peppermint, one drop of pine scotch, three drops of mandarin, and then we're going to fill the rest of the bottle with coconut oil. This is great, like I mentioned before with peppermint, is really great for opening up your sinuses. Um, when I've had a headache before, I will take uh, a couple drops of coconut oil in my hand, a couple drops of peppermint, rub my hands together, and then I cup them over my mouth and nose and just breathe deeply. And it really does help get rid of headaches. Great alternative to putting chemicals in your body. So. Here's our roll-on bottle. It does come with the little ball and the plastic that holds it in place. You just kind of wiggle it out. All right. Oh, we have not opened our peppermint oil yet. So we'll get one drop of this. Now, if you're doing this and you accidentally get two drops, it's not going to hurt anything, okay? It'll just be a little extra pepperminty. 
This hole's a little smaller. All right, I got one. And one drop of pine scotch. Doop. All right, and three. Gotta keep my lids straight. See, I should have labeled my lids first, then I wouldn't have this problem. All right, three drops of mandarin. One, two, three. All right, and that's it. Because these are 100% pure and they're, um, you know, therapeutic grade, you don't need a lot. All right, let me do this without spilling, hopefully. You can just kind of squeeze this. I like to leave a little bit of space so that when I put the roller in, it's not going to spray some out. Uh... All right, almost there. I kind of stop where the bottle, the straight part of the bottle ends and it gets starts to curve up towards the top. All right, so get that in there. Awesome, let's see. Probably shake it a little bit. Hmm, that smells really good. That peppermint definitely, like I said, is great for congestion. All right, so once the label's on here, you carry this around in your purse if you're starting to feel sniffles or anything like that. I like to put it on my pulse points, also behind my ear on my neck. All right, so that's kind of a glimpse into the December recipe box. I will say I do have a code below, Monarch Mom Free. If you subscribe for the first time to these recipe boxes and you use my code, you will receive a $40 gift card in an email to use towards your second box, which is really awesome. I also have a link below to go to place an order. Um, if the monthly box sells out before the end of the month. They have put together a starter box. So don't dismay if you go to subscribe and this exact box is not there anymore. I encourage you, if you're interested in these monthly boxes, go ahead and subscribe because the starter box that they've put together is awesome. It has some of the main oils that I use. It has frankincense, lemon, and two others that I, oh, tea tree oil, which I use every single day. It's Melaleuca tea tree oil. And there's one more, um, but they're great essential oils to start with. It also will come with um, a mixer oil and some other essentials to get started. And you also still get the bonus box, okay? So I encourage you, when you go to my link, if you're interested in subscribing, like I said, it's $39 for each monthly box, you can pause or cancel at any time. And then you're guaranteed in for the January box. Oh, you know what they don't have in here? Last time, maybe they're trying to keep it a secret, a little bit of a surprise what the January box is going to be. Um, oh wait. Oh no, this Wild Root Company is starting in January, but um, the January box, as soon as I get mine, I will come on and show you what is in it. Um, but like I said, I encourage you, if you're wanting to try to make your home as toxin-free as possible, this is a wonderful way to do it. So let me know in the drop down um, if you have any questions or comments. I'd love to hear what you guys are doing with essential oils, if you still have questions about using them in your home, and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.